which is this magical blast. It's a low hitting move. It's relatively fast. Yeah, it, it causes a pretty nice knockdown. Uh, the only way you're gonna get a combo off it, really, uh, for the most part, is using that meter burn curse, which we'll we'll cover uh, later. But um, yeah, you kind of just have to commit to it. It is safe, but you you're spending the bar on hit or miss. She also has this four two three, which is a mid, pretty good range. It's pretty fast, and you can actually meter burn it, and then they're trapped in a giant block of ice. Right. So that's a meter burned. Normal. Yes, it's a meter burn normal attack. There's a few of those in the game. And you can hit confirm this, which means like you can see, oh, it hit. And then you can go into the meter burn, and then you can get a free back three. Right. And do a big combo. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because you meter burn it before it hits. Like, it uh, changes the beginning attack. So that also makes it so if you're punishing something uh, that's pretty punishable, you can do four, two, three, meter burn, back three, four, three, and it's all unclashable, so that, that's pretty nice. And something we always talk about, too, that a lot of fighting game fans really like are advancing moves. Oh, yeah. And you, that, oh, that's, yeah. that has a good, good, good bit of an advancement to it. Another one of her key normals is her back two, which actually uses this magical energy sword. Right. It, it's got more range than her forward, two, so you use it in those ranges where you maybe want to try and whiff punish something that it won't quite reach, or you think the person might walk back and you don't want to whiff right in front of their face, and right. et cetera. And that's also a hit confirmable staring off right. the first two hits. Now, when people thought they thought that maybe Enchantress would be a zoner, as we're seeing with these moves, she does really try to control that middle ground. Yeah, you can see even her jump attacks are good at that. This is her jump two, and it's really, really good. A lot of range. And I think one more move to look at would be her 2-3 combo, which is starts with this gut jab and then goes into this diamond. And the diamond has a lot of uses. You can actually just do it immediately and it's a combo, or you can hold it down and charge it, and if it's fully charged, it becomes an unblockable. And there's a unique twist to it. She also has 2-1, where she will hold it out, and if the opponent tries to attack, it's an auto parry that does a big chunk of damage. That's just that's an interesting mix-up we haven't seen yeah. with a lot of different characters. And she can dash out of it, she can cancel it. So like, if the opponent, hey, I'm gonna do the unblockable, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna punish that unblockable, you'll never get me this time, you witch. Boom, they get paired. <laughs> now here's the thing. Do the other one real quick, do, do them both. Not to him, do them away from him. So you, can, okay. you can actually tell a difference in the diamond. Yes. So this diamond has no like lit up peaks, Yeah. where the other one does. So if you're playing a lot, you can discern them. Yes. It's not super easy, right? But and there then, is a, a, a difference in look. And that's that'll also open up. one of those things where, if you're looking for that, it kind of has to be held long enough for you to notice which one it is. And even then, it Probably might too be late. too yeah, late. There's going right. to be layers and layers of mix-ups of doing it and then dashing out of it and all kind of good stuff. Uh, is there any other normal you wanted to show? Um, you should show her duck. That's true, because it just looks cool. <laughs> and her back three is one of my favorites in the game. And her four three, it's a bulma strike. Uh, uh, it does have different ranges. Which yes, which is so. different. Yes, her four three, she can actually do close, medium, and far. Several characters have a close and medium one. She's the only one that has a far one. So her four three can hit from pretty far away, and then she can run up and do a combo. So for me, like players like me, that's like another special move. Essentially, yeah. 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 Yeah, you're going to use it in ranges you normally would not use a 4-3, but I mean that's kind of the fun of it. Let's also check out our throw, because it's definitely one of the coolest in the game. Yeah. I want to say... <laughs> I just like how it came out a lot. That's really cool. Um, I remember when I, I first saw you, I first saw it when it was, there was no, like, uh, any sort of, like, cool effects to it yet. Yes. And I was still like... That's going to be amazing. And it turned out really well. And I do love the fact that every time we do a stream, we show the throw, and we say, that's the coolest throw we've seen yet. <laughs> that's actually a good point. It's, yeah, yeah, like last time, yeah. like Adam. Yeah, that's his true. His throw is baller. Um, and her down two is also, a lot of people even notice in the trailer, her down two is fantastic. It's super fast, and it's super high. It's, it's great. So I think you can understand that you'll notice she doesn't have a lot of high-low mix-ups. She, her big overhead is one two two the second hit, and her low, like we said, you have to come in if you want to do a combo. But in the mid to long range, she's really, really strong, and I think that complements her special moves. So we'll start with her Astral Soul Rip, where she tears her own soul out and then crushes it. 
This is a good combo ender. It's the move she'll do like a down one into it. If she wants like a quick down one. It's, it's her, her wake up attack. Right, it's her wake up attack. It's punishable, but it has good range. It's one of those things where like... It's also gonna be hard to punish from further away. Right, like it's one of those things where on paper it's super punishable, but if they're super far away, it's gonna be kind of hard. And that's really her only typical by the number special move. From here on out, we're gonna get weird. You well, should you also show the, uh, meter oh, yeah. Right oh yeah, that's a good <laughs> So point. it's not actually by the numbers. Okay, so this is one of her resource moves. She will actually heal herself. Instead of it doing any more damage, she will take their soul into her body and absorb their soul energy into her health. Yep. So it already is starting to get weird. Yeah, and now we're going to get really weird. So she has Hell's Gate. And once the gate is active, it will actually reflect projectiles back as her own energy beam. And the cool thing is she's full... She is fully capable of moving around and playing the game when it is out. You can see it's very fast, has really good recovery, lasts for a long, long time. And this move is going to complement the rest of her moveset. This is a move that's going to be great. She can put it out, and now Superman's like, oh man, doing Heat Zap is dangerous, and she's going to do her character power and her other buffs. Like, for example, her curse, which I think is one of her core moves. She draws a pentagram, and then she will actually debuff the opponent. The interesting thing is, this move does not actually hit. She does it and it's going to connect. Unless Superman is in an invincible state, like he's knocked down, or he back or dashes. Behind it, or yeah, if she's things. able to point, he is cursed. Now, can, can you block it? You No, this is, not, yeah, this is not an attack you can block or duck or anything like that. So, what do the curses actually do? So, there's four different curses that can happen. Um, that one, for example, prevents super meter from being gained. Uh, that one, if you meter burn a move, it damages you and gives Enchantress meter. Uh, one of them disables special moves from being used. And the last one is uh, you take damage when you jump or duck. So if you put that on Sonic Fox, you're probably going to win the game if you try to do that again. <laughs> yeah, like, and you'll also notice it does a little bit of damage. At, at first you're thinking, oh, it's like 3%, who cares? But that's the beauty of Enchantress. She's going to put the wall up, and then she's going to do a curse. She's going to put the wall up, she'll put her character power, which we'll show later, and she's going to do a curse. And then you try to get in, because you don't want to deal with the curse, and that's when she starts hitting her with a long range. Now, does the, the curse stack? Uh, you keep refreshing the same one. Uh, if you curse someone and curse them before it's up, it just reapplies the same curse, so you don't get a reroll or anything. But, uh, does it increase you, damage? or does It, it still the does that 3% uh, or whatever yeah, damage. Yeah. Um, so, for example, if you get, you know, special move disable curse, and you're against, you know, a, a zoner, you can keep doing that, and you're like, hey, you gotta come to me. Yeah, you know? yeah. You'll notice from full screen, she doesn't have that much of a presence in terms of, like, a projectile or, like, teleporting and like that. But you have to come to her, because this is gonna add up. Yeah, that's the special move disable one. So, so real, 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 real quick, so I just want to talk about chat, because chat is fun for me to talk about. Okay. One person said, finally, a true anti-zoner. The next one, the next thing underneath it is, okay. oh, a zoner. Yeah, she's well, not. I mean. It's just funny how they're you're, Yeah. <laughs> Maybe against another melee character you'll see her do stuff like that, but. Um, she checks a lot of boxes. This, uh, yeah. this curse, if you, if you do it, you'll see it takes quite a while to uh, happen here. But can be using it too much for But there's a trick zoning. to it. When you meter burn it, she can actually meter burn it at almost any point in it. Right. She'll actually <laughs> that's just... one of the interesting things, too. If, uh, and then say, that's... for example, you're cursing kind of far away, I'm like, uh-oh, I want to stop her. And, yeah, boom. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get, that's your main combo starter. So that's both a combo star and kind of a trap move. So it turns into it, it turns yes. it into a wall bounce, which I really love. It's one of the few moves in the game that's not a physical hit at all, and yet when you meter burn it, it becomes one of her best physical hits. So now let's talk about her mana shield. When this is active, instead of taking damage from her health bar, if I am hit, I will actually take the damage through her super meter. So check out her super meter. Uh, I think did you change it off refill? Yeah. All right. All right. So now if I'm hit. You can see it's actually draining her super meter. This is an awesome, really interesting meta shifting move. And that does like She takes scenarios. no damage there. She will take no damage while she has an active and while she has super meter to take. So we're looking at a tournament. Yes. End of the game. Enchantress is, her life bar is flashing. And she has made the decision, hey, instead of clashing or using my super, 
I'm gonna hoard this meter. Mm -hmm. She activates it, she can be hit. It's not like you gain armor, but she will not take the damage from her life bar. And that's gonna allow her to take more risks, to be more crazy, and it's an ultimate, it's a huge lifesaver. We have had matches in the lab where it's like, why won't you die? And she just won't die. Because right. she had three to four bars or two bars or whatever. Yeah, well, but then again, once once that happens, if she does get comboed and she's on the ground, now she's missing two bars a meter or more. Right, and that means she's not going to be able to clash or, you know, will win a or, clash. Or, yeah, the clash yeah. might lose, yeah. She would not be able to meter burn this to do big combos. She wouldn't be able to get her health back with this. I think she's, like a lot of characters in Justice, she's not an overly strong character if she doesn't have meters. So it's, it's you in Injustice, one of the key things is meter makes you really, really good. Clash saves your life, how do you weigh it? She has this third option, which I think is really cool. And it's not just end of game. That's just my favorite way. Yeah. You can use it for a magic pixel. Imagine an Enchantress player in tournament. The magic pixel scenario is already annoying. <laughs> like, I imagine her doing that. Oh. There's actually even been first rounds. That, where... To me, that's actually, sometimes in, this, in, in the inju yeah. Injustice, the way our life bars work, you want to get as much damage out before, like if you've drained their life bar, you don't want to lose yours. You want to get as much damage out till you go to second round too. Yep, absolutely. So, moving on, she has this parry move. When this is active, she will actually teleport behind them, and then depending on the recovery move, she can actually get a combo. So this is one of the very rare full combo parries that does, excuse me, that doesn't use a bar meter. And she has a second option. She will actually drop down from the ground and she can get a full jump in. So, the parry's not that fast. It's gotta be one of the slower ones, right? Yeah, yeah. But, you don't even have to use a bar or meter, and if they do a move with a lot of recovery, they're gonna get blown up. So it's pretty effective. Yeah, it's also interesting too, because you know, if you parry a, a down one, for example, uh, you're not gonna be able to punish it because they recover so fast, but you're gonna appear from the ceiling or behind them, and they have to react to that. It's right. like, might be hard for them to even just block which side you're going to end up on. So, let's go into her super move before we talk about her character power. Sounds good. Awesome. Man, Superman got beat up by his own soul. Mm -hmm. Well, he's weak to magic. So. Right, that's canon. Oh, All man. All <laughs> Kryptonians. Which means an answer to Supergirl, finally. Right. Right, Enchantress. <laughs> yeah. All right, so her character power is super interesting. She actually summons a demon, the Lord Zabalba. Now, Zabalba <laughs> acts on his own. I'm not controlling him. Once I summon him, Zabalba is going to go forward and follow the opponent, and eventually he's going to do this big overhead. The explosion also acts as a hit, so you can see it's two hits. So if he tries to armor it, he's going to get blown up. Like, literally blown up by that hellfire. But Zabala has a few commands of his own. I can actually stop him. And now, if Superman tries to walk forward, you can see he's blocked. So this is absolutely awesome for, hey, I'm going to do my curses. I'm going to turn my mana shield on. I'm going to get my wall out. The demon totally complements all the moves we just talked about. And the last one is she can summon him and then blow him up by snapping her fingers and he blows up. So Zabalba, there's going to be all... This is, if you are one of those players that you like your weird corner, unblockable setups, you can go nuts. Like, what are some of the ideas you came up with? Yeah, I mean, there's situations where, you know, you can... Uh, oh, standing two is a restand move. I don't know if we talked about that. But, uh, yeah, you can go standing two into, you know, charging the three while Zabalba is in that defensive stance behind you. And you might let it rip and hit them if they try and jump out. Let it rip. Yeah, you know. Beyblade, you know. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, That's not what we were thinking. Or if you, you know, if they just sit there and wait, oh, I'm scared, you hit them with the unblockable and then do the attack and you can get a combo off it. There's lots of crazy stuff. I mean, I'm excited to see what people come up with. Uh, interesting ways to use the demon. Yeah, and like I said, it totally complements her movement. She's, she's one of those characters where once she gets going, she can really steamroll you. Like, it's like a snowball rolling downhill. She's got the wall out. She's got the curse out. Then she gets mana shield, and she has two bars. So you're not going to hit her. The demon totally starts that. You're like, all right, it's my time now. So you want to you get on top of this real quick. You want to, yeah. because, like, her wake-up's fine. Her wake, yeah, her wake-up's, so, I mean, it gets the job done. Right. 
So generally, like, get on top of it early, yeah. and win, or she might start using all of the what when we talked about we calling them resources. The resources she yeah. has, yeah, absolutely. Uh, one thing to note too about the curse is uh, if you have an opponent curse and do certain moves, they get amplified and consume the curse. Like her throw will do more damage than the standard eleven percent and give her half a bar of meter. And here's another example you can see normally they fall out of this. However, if you have the curse up, when it breaks, they will not, and you actually get a restand. So there's another example of setups you can find with that. And oh yeah, plenty of stuff. Yeah, so let's her go. Let, let's her go hard in the paint a little bit. Absolutely, <laughs> and that's that's how she rolls. Mm -hmm. She learned that from June. <laughs> <laughs> Did she though? <laughs> Absolutely, that's canon. Okay, not everything's canon, Steve. That's canon with a K. Fine. So, I think that's kind of uh, enchantress' main gameplay here. I like it. Can we, uh, let's take a look, let's talk for a second before we go back to what we're going to do next. We have some fun stuff happening in a moment. Well, I do have loadouts. We're going to do that in a second. Okay. I just want to say a few things real quick.